you're taking a communication class and your instructor is requiring you to record a video and upload it to your LMS, Blackboard or Canvas. You don't know where to begin. You don't know how to begin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to begin and how to end and some tips or tricks in between. Let's go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload your presentation to YouTube after creating a account and then taking that video and importing it into your LMS, either Blackboard or Canvas. So if you're only using Canvas or Blackboard or you only need a specific part of the video, there'll be timestamps below in the description and then you can fast forward to the area you need. So the first thing you're going to do you're going to open up your browser that could be Safari, that could be Firefox, that could be uh, Microsoft Edge or uh, Google Chrome. And you're going to type in at the top google.com. And it's going to give you a page like this. Now Google changes up their page every now and again. But you'll see on the top right, even though the page has changed, you'll see a button that says sign in. So you want to click that button. And when you click that button, it'll take you to a page like this. Now, if you already have a Gmail account, you can sign in with the Gmail account. But, and I mean, you can see the button right here, sign in instead. But if you don't have that account, then you can create one here at the top. And then you're all set to uh, access YouTube and upload your video. So once you create that account, you'll sign in. And then at the top of the page here, you can see these dots, this square with the dots. If you click there, it gives you the option for YouTube. So I sign into my account, I go to YouTube, and it's going to take me to my YouTube page. Now whatever your page is like, it's still going to have these same buttons at the top of the page. So you'll see this little camera here where uh, it has a plus button around it and still that square if you want to go navigate to other parts of YouTube. Uh, these are notifications for YouTube and then you'll have your little uh, YouTube icon in the corner here. If you're going to upload a video, you're going to click here on this camera with the plus on it and it's going to give you the option to upload the video. So I'm going to upload a video that I just put together for the purpose of explaining here to you. So I click that button on the top, it takes me here, it's asking me to select a file. I click select a file and then it's asking me to look for the file. I found the file, this is my video file, it's my recorded presentation. And I click that and I click choose and YouTube is going to start uploading it online. Now I've got a couple options here once I select the file. It's asking me for the title of my video so I could put if it was a speech class I could put informative speech project informative uh, speech presentation let's go with that and then I could put a description there this is my informative speech and I could put the name of my class for uh, speech for public speaking class. Now, one thing YouTube has changed is uh, they're going to ask you if your video is made for kids or if it's not made for kids. And what you'll do is the easiest thing to do is say, no, it's not made for kids, it's a class assignment and you can't move forward with publishing your video until you click that button. So I click that. I don't have to worry about playlists because I'm just uploading it here online. You don't have to worry about uploading a thumbnail or anything because you're presenting, you're just submitting this for class. And you're going to hit next. Now after you hit next, it's going, to, YouTube is going to take you to step two up here. And this is where, you know, while you're going through these steps, it's telling you how much of the video is loading and how many minutes are left. 
you don't have to worry about this screen either. It's just telling you about additional features on YouTube. From here, you're going to click Next again, and it's going to ask you an important question that will interest many of you when you're uploading videos. Many times when a student uploads a video, they don't want the whole world to see it. They want the instructor to see it, and then they want to take it down right afterwards. Well, if you don't want to become a YouTube sensation, what I tell my students is you either make your video unlisted or you put it as private. And if you put it as private, then there's some features there where only the people you choose will see the video. This can get a bit tricky with the private option because if you don't set those, if you don't put the settings correctly, then your instructor won't be able to see the video at all. So I always tell students, just make it unlisted. If you make it unlisted, your video doesn't show up. It's unlisted. So if somebody were to search for you, it's unlisted. And then after the instructor grades a the video, then you can delete it forever. Now, I'm going to hit save. And my video, while I was going through those settings, it was still loading in the background. When your video loads, you'll have it available here to uh, put it in the course. Now I'm going to hit cancel upload because I don't want I don't want to upload this video. It was just for uh, an example for you. I've got other videos here that that I can show you. Now once your video loads, you'll see it here. I've got a number of videos, so it's showing me all the videos. But you may only, if this is your first video, then obviously you'd only see one on the top here. If you accidentally navigate away from this page, this is your back office essentially to YouTube. But if you accidentally navigate, navigate away from this page, you can come over here to your channel. You go up to your icon again and you click on channel. It's going to take you to the videos on your channel. But if you want to get to the back office, if you want to get to the back office, you'll just click on that icon again and you click on YouTube Studio and it'll take you to your back office with your video. And then over here on the left, you'll click videos and you'll find your video right here again. Now it doesn't matter if you do it here or if you go over here to your channel. But once your video is loaded, you want to play your video. So if I'm over here in the back office, I'm going to click this button that says view on YouTube. And if I'm over here on my channel, I just click the video. There's not going to be four buttons there. So I'd go down to one of my videos and I would just click that. But either way, let's do it from the back office. I'm going up to YouTube Studio and I'm clicking on videos. And I'm going to click on one of my videos here. Now it's going to start playing the video, but what you're going to want to do, what you're going to want to do is come down here to the share button. Now I'm going to show you something that commonly happens. When people want to share a video, they just copy this link and then share it. But for Blackboard or Canvas, there's something that there's an additional step that can actually embed your video so it's easier for your instructor to see. It has a more it has a aesthetic feel to it, a look to it that actually that sets you a little bit apart from from all the other videos that your instructor will see. So instead of just copying this link and providing it to your instructor, you can you can click the embed button up here. When you click the embed button, it's going to give you a different code here on the top. So I have that highlighted. I'm going to click copy. My video has been uploaded. I've got the embed code. And now I'm ready to import this into Blackboard. So I'm going to Blackboard and I'm going to find the area that my instructor wants the video to be uploaded for for my presentation. I find that folder. I find the link. In this case, it's right here on the bottom. And notice I'm, I'm in Blackboard as a student, so I'm showing it to you as a student. I click on the area that my instructor wants me to submit my assignment. And I'm going to click on Write Submission. And it gives me these features right here to submit my assignment. Now, since I did the embed code, 
I'm going to click on HTML right here. And I'm just going to paste the embed code. Now I can paste it by coming up here and hitting the edit button. And I paste that embed code in here and I hit update. And notice what happens now. My video embeds straight into Blackboard. So now my instructor just has to click on the video in Blackboard and he can see it. Now one last thing on embedding a video. The features up here are like a Microsoft Word document. So you can center the video, you can move it to the left or to the right just by clicking these buttons up here. I always like to have it right in the center. It gives it a nice balanced, cleaner look. But let's say that you don't want to go with the embedded video. You want to go with uh, just a URL link. In that case, you'll go back to YouTube. You'll click share and you'll just click this link that comes up. You'll copy it. You'll come over here to Blackboard and you can paste the link in there and then your instructor would do the work of copying that over at the top of the page and, and going there. There's a, another way to do it though. You can highlight this link. Let's do it like this. You can highlight that link and then you click this these two chain links up here. And I say this is a link path I want and I put in the exact same code that I had here on YouTube under share that exact same code. Now when you do that you want to open it in a new window select the target as a new window. Blackboard has been known to be a, a bit glitchy if you put it in the same window frame. So select open a new window. You don't have to do anything else. Uh, up here you click insert and now you have uh, a link that if your instructor clicks on that link it's going to redirect him or her to your YouTube video. There's another step here however. Instead of just putting a link with all those garbled words you could put a phrase. For example, I could put, here is my speech presentation. Or, to make it more specific, please click, please click here to access my speech presentation. And, now I can highlight this sentence, go back to the links, put in the URL path, I want this open a new window, and then I hit insert. And now instead of having this link up here, just garbled words, letters and words and numbers, uh, I have this. Now I can make this a bit fancier if I wanted to, I can bold it, I can come up here and, and make it larger and it's easier for my instructor to see and, and to click on it. But as I said before, my preferred approach is to embed the video. And if you wanted to, you could do both. The embed and the URL link. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to embed the video. Hit update. There's the video, move it to the center. And if I'd like, I can also go back here, find the share link, and also include the URL right below my video here. You know, you can set it up any way you'd like there under the guidelines of what your instructor needs but you can have it in two different places. So that's how you embed the video for Blackboard. Now, if I were a student working in Canvas, it's the same process, but a little bit different. The buttons are in, in a couple different places. So I locate the area where my instructor wants me to submit my assignment. I click on it. And then I'm gonna click the Submit Assignment button. This is tricky because it looks like if I click submit, that's it. I submitted an assignment with nothing. And, but you, 
you click on submit assignment and then it's going to give you some options here. You can upload a file, text entry, Google Drive, click text entry and then you're going to come up here and get the same code, the embed code. I'm going to click on this box down here so I see the cursor moving and I'm going to, this is the embed button here. It says insert slash edit media. You click on that, then you move over to embed and you paste the code right in there and click OK. And there's a video. And then of course I'm going to center it and I'd submit my video. If I wanted to submit a URL instead of the video, then I would go back here to YouTube Hit share, get the URL code, come over here, and I would put click here to access my presentation video. Of course, I can center that. And then there's the chain, almost the same look as Blackboard. I click on that chain, I put in the link, it shows it to me, I hit insert and the link is right there and the YouTube videos are right there as well. And then the instructor can access it that way as well. Of course, there's some other options up here, but as I said, you can make it pretty straightforward for your instructor by either using the URL or embedding the video. So those are the two approaches. Remember to check the guidelines for what your instructors want. Most of the time, I'm gonna tell you as an instructor, the easier you make it for us, as long as the instructor doesn't spell out specifically, hey, I want it just a URL. But if the instructor leaves it up to you and gives you a couple different options for uploading, as an instructor, I want the quickest, easiest way to access my students' material. So myself, and I'm sure a lot of instructors feel the same way, if you embed the video in there and I just have to click it and it's not gonna take me somewhere else to YouTube or another site, it makes it easier for me to grade it. And so I appreciate that when students do it that way. But you've got those two link, uh, approaches below. You After you create your Gmail account, uh, you go to YouTube, you upload the video, and then you have those share options to either embed the video or create the link. So there you have it, how to upload your presentations to either Blackboard or Canvas. If you have any ideas for future videos, please give me uh, your questions or comments below and we'll see you in the next video.